Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Until the old male Rambo's his name He's quick on his feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got the drive and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins, you can't Time is passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the pines. Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. Just a word of the hound. It sounds just right. It's dark. Hey everybody, tonight's video is going to feature a bunch of coon hunts from last week with that walker female named Widowmaker. And if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go check that one out. She's out of Rackham Willie. But before we get into tonight's video, obviously, we got a new puppy. He's out of Country Club. And if you've been following this YouTube channel, you've seen that blue tick before. He's really smart and he's a great family dog already. He just turned 10 weeks old and I can say that I already have him house broke. He's been in the house and he hasn't had an accident for two days and he goes to the door every time he needs out and I let him out and he goes in the yard and he goes and I'll be posting his journey mostly on Patreon at first I'll be making an exclusive series on there where I make just different videos showing each step of the way kind of how I raise my pups I'm actually gonna raise this one kind of like I did my mountain cur Jax he's gonna stay in the house and I'm gonna do everything just like I did with the Jax so you guys can see kind of how that process works with me and my pups and if you're interested in that those are gonna be exclusively on Patreon then in a year or so when he's treeing I'll make a big long video that'll probably go on YouTube, but that won't be up, like I said, for probably a year. So if you want to see the process as it happens and be able to engage and ask questions and see the progress along the way, make sure you check out my Patreon page. And I just want to say thank you to Matt Lingo, his wife, Terry Tappy, and all their family for raising these pups. As you'll see, they're really good looking, great acting pups. I'm very excited for this one. Also make sure if you're in the market for a new light, check out Big Dog Lights. You can use code STARK10 to save some money. If you're in the market for a new tracking system, you can use code STARK5 to save some money when purchasing a dog truck. One more thing you might notice a little bit in tonight's video. If you're on Patreon, you already would have seen. I upgraded my camera equipment quite a bit. And I did that because I'm starting a new series. It'll kind of be like the Houndsman Spotlight series, but it's gonna have a way higher production value. That's gonna be way more in depth. And the first person I'm doing with this is Randy Smith of Lone Pine Kennels. And just to give you guys an idea kind of what it's going to be like, it's going to have the regular coon hunting footage and coon hunting video like always and podcast, but he's actually having me make a promotional video for his kennel. And in that video, it might be close to two hours long, to be honest. It's going to cover his entire life, all the dogs he's hunted with over the years, all the way up to the current ones he's hunting. We're going to go through competition hunting, pleasure hunting, kind of how he got into it. And it's going to be kind of like a documentary format. So it'll have all the interesting aspects of podcasts, but instead of just sitting and listening to a conversation, it'll be professionally done and edited. That way you can get to know the full story and Randy will get to have that for the rest of his life. And then his kids and grandkids throughout the generations will be able to look back and get to see his story in a high quality fashion. And I really look forward to making that. And I hope other people reach out to me and want to kind of set that up. To my knowledge, there's not really anything like that that's been done with coon hunting before. There have been other coon hunting shows and projects, but nothing done with modern technology and that in depth. And I'm really excited for that. I'm getting together with him in a couple weeks and we're going to record that. But I'm really excited to work with him. And I know he's really going to be happy with the way it turns out. And also at the end of this video, I'll show a sample of what next week's video is going to be. I got it together with Austin Terrell and recorded a video and a podcast. By the time you're watching this, the podcast will already be out, but the video will release next Sunday. And that'll feature well-known competition handler Austin Terrell. You get to go hunting with him, kind of learn his story and see Wicked Ambush, a dog that got second in Super Stakes last year. He looked pretty good and the conditions are pretty rough, but he still performed well. And it was a great time. I look forward to sharing that with you guys. But I won't keep you any longer. Here's tonight's video. All right, we're going to take Widowmaker out again. It's up into the 40s now. It's really nice. Most of the snow's all gone. My cousin's coming tonight and he's got a couple pups with him. So we'll see what they can do.
hollow and broke off. One pup is off by himself, the other pup's standing by me. And Widow's tree, you saw it was a den tree, we cut her. She's in there about 310 yards now, opened up a couple times. Tree it again. That's the one I saw in the smoke. We already saw it walking in. Treed. There it is. Good job, buddy. Go get it, Widow. Where is he at, man? <laughs> yeah, she'll go wherever they're at. She's going with her now, too. Pup split. Widow maker just treed. But that pup, how old's that pup? Five month old pup. Widow's in their treats, so we'll go and see what she has. In their tree. pretty quick and then really liking the female she's going pretty good and young pup looking good too the second night How far do you go there? About 300. 300, cut him loose. Oh. 